I'm Rick Martinez. I'm the founder of Senor Sangria, and I'm following the American dream. It started by accident. I didn't uh, set out to start a, uh, um, a sangria or an alcohol company. I just uh, was making sangria at home for friends and family. And then my wife, one day coming, by, coming home from a party, stopped me. He's like, look, you got to bottle your sangria. I thought she was nuts. But um, she had the name of the company that night. And she's like, look, you can call it Senor Sangria. And that's when the, uh, when the idea kind of hit. And that's really where the journey began. It took three years, started the journey in 2006, and it took three years before we actually had the product in the market. We basically take good quality ingredients, blend them together, just like what we did at home, and put it into a bottle. The ingredients are uh, basically a good quality wine. We found a winery that, that, that supplied us the wine. The wine right now comes from Chile. We use good quality fruit juice and uh, real cane sugar. We don't use any high fructose corn syrup or any flavors or anything artificial. Uh, we found a couple of juice companies that uh, supplied us the juice that we're using for the sangria, which is really good juice. I mean, the OJ is something that when, it, when we get it, um, I just want to stick a spoon in it and just eat it. I ended up wholesaling a product for two years, uh, literally going door to door selling our sangria. The cool thing about it was early part of the week, I'd show up with a couple of bottles of our sangria at a retail location and get people to try it and people really liked it. Then the later half of the week I showed up again to deliver it and they kind of looked at me funny because I was delivering out of the back of my SUV. I didn't have a truck cut and stack them up on a handcart, bring them in. Many times people stopped me asking me, hey, is this legit? And I had to show them all my paperwork. At the end of the second year, we had built the business in New Jersey to about 215 liquor stores. I had sold about 5,000 cases, which is huge for a, uh, for a wine company, especially a startup wine company like ours. In 2011, we first introduced our first distributor in New Jersey. And since then, we've grown the business in New Jersey up to about 1,000 retail locations. This year, we're on track to do close to 40,000 cases just in Jersey alone. Um, we've, we've grown the business now to New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, D.C., and Delaware. It's extremely exciting. We've seen it from an idea from birth, and we've grown it to the point now where people are really excited about it. People are emailing us saying, hey, look, you know, we tried your product. We really like it. Uh, people are asking us to, be, you know, to get the product into Florida, California, Arizona, states where we don't sell our stuff. We were a small company, so we have to make do with very little. Um, so I wear many hats. The other folks who work for me wear multiple hats and we're able to squeeze a lot out of very little. I like the fact that every day uh, we're taking a step forward and growing this business. For us, we get really excited about the challenge, trying to change people's uh, mindset of bottled sangria. Senior sangria is definitely one of the best things that's happened to me and I'm just following the American dream.